All right, so today we're going to look at the speed starter from Phoenix Contact. I have the single phase version, L1, L2, and two grounds. There's also a three phase version. So what this is going to do is this is going to convert a single phase application to a three phase application. Now what I've done is I've set this up through my PLC next, and we're going to have forward and reverse speed control. And then we're also going to show you how to do analog speed control. All right, let's go through some of these options here. If we scroll all the way to the left, we get the current. Now that's the current of the motor that you'll find on the nameplate. The next button is ramp. So that's your ramp time in seconds from zero speed to full speed. The status will give you the hertz when running. Speed one is the hertz setting to the right hand rotation. Speed two is the hertz setting to the left hand rotation. And then under options, we can change things like running current, slip faults, what the analog input does, and a few other options. All right, let's go ahead and look at one of our speed settings. So we're just gonna go to speed one. Notice I have it set to 20 hertz. If we use the arrows, we can adjust the hertz up and down. If we press the set button, it will stop flashing, and you'll know that the parameter is saved. So if we go back to status and back to speed one, you'll see that it's still 21. If we were to bring this back down to 20, have it still flashing, and go to status, and then come back, you'll notice that the change did not save. All right, now that we have this mostly set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the program that I've created in PLC Next on my smartphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit forward. The motor is now going to run in the right direction at 21 hertz until I turn it off. If I hit reverse, it's going to run at 20 hertz in the left-hand direction until I turn it off. All right, now that we sort of have the basic speed one, speed two, and right and left done, let's look at the analog input. So in order to use the analog input, we're actually going to have to go into the menu. So we're going to turn the knob to the options. We're going to go to number nine. Number nine is going to set up the analog input. Right now it's set to none. We have a couple of PTC options for the motor, but we're just going to use the analog input. So we select analog input. Then we're going to go to option 10, and we're going to be able to select between voltage and current. We want voltage in this case, so we're going to set voltage. Now that we have this set for analog input, we're going to use the same program and the slider bar at the bottom. So I'm going to put the motor into reverse, and you'll see that we start in reverse, and we're at 28.2 hertz. Now if I adjust the slider, you'll see that these change on the fly. So this almost acts like a variable frequency drive without all the options. And we can turn that off, and then I can actually run it in forward speed and do the same thing. This is great for small conveyors, small motors, anything that you may need just a little bit of control over versus just on and off. 